It's the longest five seconds I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah. Finally, <laughs> it lets off. You can breathe. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I would say they hit me uh, once. Uh, I some kid gave me his dad's two thousand dollar bike, and they tased me on the house. Uh, you know, they just come in and lit me up, and 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 they never even wanted the bike back. They just wanted to teach me. How, uh, this kid uh, had had me tattoo Crip on his arm, and and gave me his dad's two thousand dollar bike. Yeah, he, he, be nice. He got general. He, she's pretty, dude. She's pretty. She's pretty. Be nice, Diddy. Just don't stick your hand in his mouth. Yeah, because he might nibble on you. Did you say, Daddy, that's enough. That's enough. He gets rowdy. Thanks, sweetie. Well, I'm going to get out of your head, brother. You're a beast. Look at you. Your hands are feel like you've been ripping with them damn towels and everything else. Daddy, yuckle up, brother Mike. I, I love you, man. I tell you what, you, you, you guys have been nothing but good out here uh, in the tribal. Actually, they were kind of weird over in Durant. I don't know if you guys are with those guys. Uh, but, no. Yeah, those guys were kind of weird. Uh, but you know what? The car brings... You can't blame people. You know, the car is kind of... That's why I made that car like that. It, it's so you discriminate against it. And, I mean, the car is jacked with cameras, man. Hardcore. He's knocked off a lot of them, but huh. I'm putting up better ones now. I got double double cams I'm putting in with... <laughs> shoot out the front and back and... I think I got one more year of me and then I'm going to freaking uh, retire. Retire for, on top. Yeah, I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead when I'm not shot up. You know, I, I sometimes brace myself with like a bullet in the gut or, uh, or in the face. You know, like, you know, kind of, you ever do that? I mean, obviously, you got to think you're about a, it. You're a general junkie. Yeah, I, I am, man. Yeah, like I that. am. You know what? I like to roar a little bit. I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably the biggest piss in the world when it comes down to just loving people, but... When I get when some set off, man, I, I can take care of business. I can I can usually I can knock motherfuckers out with one slap. But you know I've been, I've been I usually have better with my slaps than anything. And uh, my feet are pretty da dangerous. It's an attention getter. Now are you working your kicks? Are you working your oh, kicks? No. You really. should work your kicks, brother. Yeah. There's a uh, there's a kick um, there's a kick uh, I'm doing called the no C kick. Have you ever seen that? It's on the net. Uh, no C. The no C kick. I throw this kick, and you can. I can see it barely my shoelace, but it's pretty well invisible, and and I, it's getting faster and faster. But uh, yeah. I have a pretty good stand up. Uh, well, next to you, all I did was. You know, there's a lot of danger to throwing a kick too if you don't do it right. So you better just to stay planted and box it out. And they catch your catch your leg or something. Yeah, it can happen. It's never happened to me, but. I actually happened to a buddy of mine, but the dude was, dude was pretty, pretty rocked out. Dude, it's the best deal. I, I the best, the best thing I've always had was the slap in the ear, or just coming straight up with a double palm into their sternum and lift them up, and they just go flying, man. I mean, that's real. That's really good to get them off their feet, is to come in low and come up on their sternum and palm them, yeah. palm them upward, and then knock them right off their feet, and they go flying, and then when they go sliding on their ass and come in. And, clock them on with a foot and a mouth and, and that's usually it then, you know you know what I'm saying There's, but that's, my, my best deal was the slap in the ear, man it, besides the right hook in the jaw I broke a lot of jaws and I, I quit doing that, you know, I don't want to break people's jaws anymore because sure. last time I did that I had to go to court and it cost me yeah. six months in the county and and, and, and then he yeah. come to try to sue me because he damn near died he, he's an asshole and didn't go to the hospital and wire up his jaw and he got infection. They had to cut his fucking oh, neck sure. from here to here. And uh, I had to go to court and for that too, the civil part. And I won that. But he, he was, he was, and I, I didn't even want to fight the fucking guy. I come out the bar. My friend was beating up the bouncer. And after he beat him up, they arrested him. And then he said, this guy was with so-and-so to beat up Kevin. And the next thing you know, they all surrounded me. And, and I, I uh, lit the fucker up and put the boot to him and it broke his jaw and and it, it, it nothing went on for like years and then all of a sudden I had this misdemeanor assault and I finally turned myself in for but, but yeah it was terrible man statute of limitation would have expired on you know what it don't man in Nebraska I got a misdemeanor for popping someone right in front of the courthouse and I they, they've been running it for 15 years now another one on top of it
Yeah. It's just crazy, but you know what? I figure it's like this. I know I've done things naughty in my life that I should have went to prison for, you know, uh, so what the hell? And they're doing me a favor. I don't want to go back to Nebraska anyways. It's kind of a shithole state. There's nothing really there. My family. A lot of uh, cornfields. You know what? It's, it's turned like in, Iowa, Nebraska. It's turned. It's turned like, into. It's turned into a lot of bad tweakers nowadays. Really? Yeah, it's horrible. And you know, all my friends are dead from that shit or prison or. I got fucked up by the Nebraska kids. You did. When I was at 190, I pulled a 197 one year. What? Uh, a wrestling or? Yeah. Uh, really? When I was at. I went to Oklahoma City for two years before I transferred. You were a competitive. I could tell you're a competitive. Man, I loved it. That was the only reason I got out of the military. I gotta ask uh, you something. I noticed your ears are scuffed. I always wondered if that would happen to me. Is that from rubbing the mat too hard? The cartilage splits, like and it gets it, hit by somebody's head or yeah. When you shoot, even, even your head can just bump it head like to head. When you shoot to the yeah, face, yeah, yeah. If they cross face, rub. Yeah. So a lot of forms will do it. God damn. That cartilage. Yeah, you can but tell you're a, you've you've been in, in battle all your life, ain't you? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I you are a beast. Uh, what? No, I, but I think it's because I wasn't allowed to wrestle until uh, I could drive myself. Cause my you're parents, a freaking beast, brother. Were like you can play one sport because there was nine of us. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. So they're like you can do one sport. I yeah. Like, well, I guess I'll play football. I always noticed. I didn't get to wrestle until I could drive my junior. My year. brother was a state champion wrestler, Ron Peterson. I think, he, I think he took first or second, but uh, I think he might have taken first. I think he took second out of Nebraska. I think he was right in that area, about 180 or 190. But he, he uh, there was a guy Wilkerson that was real good. Uh, Ro- I think it's Rob Wilkerson. This and, would have been like maybe 2012. Yeah, this would have been a lot, a lot earlier than that. That kid beat me up pretty good. Did he beat you he good? He was just skilled, man. Like now, Iowa. Like me and shit. Iowa's in Nebraska. Yeah, but Iowa's got some good wrestlers oh, too. Always. Yeah, I don't know. They always win, They've don't they? Always got man, but wrestling I, in Iowa is like football in Texas. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. You talk to somebody from Iowa. Yeah. They know what you're talking about. You know what? Somebody hear about wrestling, they're like, oh, like WWE stuff. I'm like, no. I, I had absolutely no moves whatsoever, but I was a pretty good wrestler. I, I was winning, and uh, I never went to state or nothing, but I was winning, and, and I wasn't that dedicated. You know, I'd be like, go and do a couple meets, and I'd blow it off or go and do all the meets and stuff, but I liked to do it, and I was good at it. I was winning most of my matches, and and, uh, and <laughs> if I didn't win, I would cheat, you know? I, I had one guy... I. Uh, bent his fingers back and so hard he got up and started crying screaming trying to hit me and they disqualified him and they didn't see me bend his fingers back but he was beating me but I won that one in Omaha <laughs> he got up trying to punch on me because I, I, I wasn't beating him but he, he was I could tell he was going to well, beat me now it's like the um, I've been beat before uh, it's kind of like football it's like the reaction dude gets the well, I didn't know no moves, you know, I'd just get out there and, you know, go for what, i do a few things like the, you know, the half thing, you know, or, or half Nelson or whatever and shit like that, and full Nelson and a few things, a little bit of a fireman's carry and shit like that, but, uh, and I just kind of went out there and I was wiry and I was kind of pretty uh, strong, but I was winning and, and I should have stuck, I should have done it, but. Like, I, I really wasn't, I was more in motorcycles back then and yeah. shit like that. Dude, that's enough. Well, I'm going to get out of your hair so I don't get you in trouble, Mike. Oh, you're Thank right. you, man. You're, you're a real nice, hey, if you, if you uh, see these guys out here, say, hey, man, that fed smoker's not, not, not too bad a guy, For man. For sure, dude. You know, he, I, tr- I try to give people the same respect I, I would like to have, you know. Uh, I'm only quitting now, dude. But listen, between you and me... I've been looking for the best of the best, and you, Lawson, and uh, Billy Bond, man, he's about to put a tear in my eye, he's such a nice person, he is. he's a real, and Lawson's good too, but Billy, when you meet Billy, you know you met a friend, he's good dude, and you, I think I met a friend with you, man, yeah, I really no, do, yeah. if I ever seen you in trouble, I'd be uh, tickled pink, tickled pink to come in, brother, if the, do- if the dog don't cripple me by then, yeah, yeah, he's, 
You are a beast, brother. You just stay beasting up, man. I'm a pleasure to know you, man. You. Mike, you're a great guy. Thank you. Later. Yeah. Slow down now, you crazy little shit. God almighty. Okay, dude, come here. Come here. Come here. You gotta stop. You gotta stop, big boy. You gotta stop, buddy. You're getting crazy. You gotta calm down, man. Fold your collar right off your head. Come here. Stop. Come here. Take that off your head. Come here. Put that on your head, goodness. Put that on your head. And you gotta stop now. You gotta stop, buddy.